Now on to some inspiring news. Thousands of the Jewish Ukrainian refugees fleeing to Israel in recent months. But while safe from the Russian invasion, many are largely without a support network, which can be an especially difficult experience ahead of the holidays. So joining us with the details of their plan to help Chabad emissaries and chief rabbi and Rebetzin to Kiev, Jonathan and Ina Markovich. Jonathan, uh, Ina, thank you both very much for being with us. Now, first of all, you know, you finally made the decision to leave Ukraine. How are you doing uh, now that you're in Israel? And, you know, are you still coordinating with your community and the Jews of Ukraine? Hi. Hi. Shalom, everyone. Shalom, yeah. Shalom, everyone. Everybody. We had uh, a flourishing community in Kiev for 21 years. And we feel connected and obliged to those people. Uh, now, when the war started, uh, we were asked by the Secret Service of Ukraine to please leave the country because they were afraid of Russian provocation against a uh, very Jewish outlook like uh, my husband. So actually, in a way, we were forced to leave. But we left only in body. Uh, we're still connected with most of the community. Uh, many of them are still in Kiev. Um, especially the elderly and the Holocaust survivors. And we talk about about 2,000 people, many bedridden or need any other assistance. So um, in a few days, Am Israel, all over the world, will celebrate Pesach, which is a very significant holiday right. in Jewish tradition. We put a lot of efforts, me and my husband, that the Jewish community, the Jews in Kiev, those who were forced to leave, who are not able to leave, will have a festive, at, le at least mm. a little bit, as much as we could, we'll have the festive um, on the table. So, uh, yeah, so there will be um, three major seders in Kiev. Wow. And when I, I say would... major, uh, we used to have uh, 400 people for each seder. But now 50 people wow. for each it's, it's seder. A it's a lot Amazing. because there is a curfew every evening. So how are you, so yeah, I mean, how are you planning, how are you orchestrating this and, and how many people are involved in, in getting it done? Well, um, yeah. it's an operation uh, that uh, we and our oldest son is, and his wife are orchestrating from here, from Kiev, from France. Uh, we're sending constantly food and medications and for the holiday matzah and wine, and here I would like to ask uh, and say that we still need a lot of help mm. so to put food on these people's table, to send them insulin, heart medications, life-saving products and medications. So three right. centers in Kiev. And many more will get this package to their yeah. home. Uh, in parallel, we will have a few setters in Israel, too, for the Kiev refugees right. and for other Ukrainian refugees who want to join. Right. So, so I wanted to ask, uh, and, and Rabbi, maybe you can join us uh, here, you know, how many refugees are you, are you hosting uh, in Israel? We are hosting a lot of re uh, refugees. I cannot say a real number. It, more than, than 500. But in this Pesach, we will make, we will do a seder for 100 people with us. Other people will go to other places to, uh, that are uh, not nearby us, but they will have a seder, they will have places that they will be together with the Jewish mm -hmm. community and uh, other Jewish communities. And for us, it's very, very important and it's important for those people to make seder, to be in seder on this, the, the places that they can be, they can feel themselves at home. It's very important because when they got out from Kiev, uh, they thought yes. that's all, it's the, the end of the world for them, like, like for us, but for them it's even harder. So what, you know, how, how can but, other people, because you mentioned that you, that you are looking for help, so how can other people help with the organization, with, uh, with making sure that these satyrs go as planned uh, as best as possible? And, you know, what does it mean for you to host in Israel? You know, uh, to host in Israel is exciting because it is the Holy Land. But not the, we, uh, we dreamed, of course, to host a center here, but not 
uh, you know, that way. We feel very connected to Yitziat Mitzrayim, the biblical Yitziat Mitzrayim, because uh, the, the Jews of, uh, of Egypt left with probably a passport and a matzah in their hands. Right. Uh, we were fled from Ukraine and all the refugees, most of them were fled the same way. But without matzah. Without matzah, without yes. Matzah. All right, well, I mean, it, I, I think it's just so incredible uh, everything that you've been doing, and I want to wish you both a very uh, happy Passover, Chag Sameach, and, uh, you know, thank you, thank you again. Thank you, so thank you very much. Yeah. If, I, if I can say something, yeah, please. please. We just heard the Prime Minister of Israel say that we are must to be together, to help each yeah. other, to be one nation, one people, not just nation, one people, one. And for, for this, we need your help because we need to help those people that now they are in Ukraine, they are in Kiev. Those people don't, don't have, uh, they have food, but not a lot. We, we must to give them more food. We, we must to keep them alive. Uh, when they will have the medicine, it will save them. They will not die because without the medicine, they, they can die. It's insulin, it's blood pressure, it's those, uh, those diseases that they have without those uh, the medicine. They will not stay alive. And it's right. our goal to help them, to help us. So, because we are one nation, we are one people, All and right. it's very important to help them. All right, Rabbi Rabetin, thank you both so much for joining us, and uh, and uh, we hope that everybody uh, watching this can donate those products uh, as, as much as possible. Thank you so much. Please, we need to help for Kiev. If somebody can help for Kiev, it will be. Thank you. We we the mighty God will tell him thank you, not just us. All right. Thank you. Thank you again and Haksamer. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.